Hey! 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 Guess what happened to me today? Oh, what? So, I was eating a salad at lunch. Now, I know what you're saying. Who eats a salad for lunch? Leafy greens, right? <laughs> anyway, I was sitting there and I was eating lunch and I saw a friend who I hadn't seen in like years. And I was like, whoa, I haven't seen you since high school. And she was like, hey! And I was like, hi! Come on, Brandon, pull yourself together. This is the moment you've been waiting for. All you have to do is tell him there's something in his teeth. Just say it! And then you don't have to stare at that hideous, disgusting, partially chewed, mostly digested. I pulled out my phone like this, and I was, what? Has that been here the whole time? Yes! I thought you were just staring at my mouth no. because I had a nice smile no, or something. No, it wasn't Oh, that. man. You know what? From now on, if I have something on my teeth or a booger coming out of my nose or something on my shirt or whatever, just point it out, okay? Okay, it, you're right. It's, it's something that I've been working on and I will, I will try to do better. I'm gonna start now. What, uh, do you have something else to say? Yes. There's a squirrel on your back. Ah! Ah! Get it off! Yeah! Ah! 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 <laughs> okay, okay, I'll go first. You went first last night. But it worked, right? Well. Oh, hey, hey, everyone, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching. The International Pickup Sticks Competition. Yeah, actually, it's the so-and-so show, but we are training for the International Pickup Sticks Competition. And you know, I've always wanted to compete ever since I was a kid. And I've wanted to compete since five minutes ago when Brandon told me about it. Yeah, we're competing in the doubles tournament, and I, I think we have a pretty good shot. Yeah, I think so, too, but only if we keep training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what else we should be training in? Wearing deodorant? Yes. What? No. <laughs> okay, yes. But also this month we're committed to learning the skills you need to help your faith grow. And today we're talking about, well, talking. <laughs> so. Yeah. Come on, let's play, let's play, let's uh, play. Can I please go first this time? <sighs> okay, fine. Okay, can you start the timer? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, here, excuse me. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah, go, hit it. Before each game, I like to get loose. You gotta keep those limbs limber, you know what I'm saying? So I like to go into deep stretches because I don't wanna pull a muscle in the middle of picking up a stick. It's happened before. You've only got 45 more seconds. You, you, you might wanna pick up a stick. It's all part of the strategy. Okay. 30 <sighs> seconds. I know, I know. 15 seconds. <sighs> Yeah, here we go. Now this part is crucial. The selection of the stick. See, most people will just pick some random stick off the top, but with international pickup sticks competition rules, if you wanna earn the real big points, you have to choose one from the deeper layers of what I call the pile. No. Five seconds. No, you. Uh, oh, oh no, man, you distracted me. No, oh. to, pff, whatever. Uh, you know what? You should have gone for one of the ones on top. I first. have a strategy. Well, it isn't working. Okay, then why don't you show me what works? Uh, fine. Give me that. Yeah, here, you want to clear it. I, I know how to work the. Okay. This one? Yeah. No. Oh, one oh wait, okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Gotta stay hydrated. You didn't even drink it. Oh, you have 45 seconds. I don't know what Brandon was trying to do, but I'm not gonna mess this one up. You gotta be stealthy and swift to pick up these sticks. <laughs> oh. 44 seconds. Ah. 
Ha! It's all about the breath work, baby. Mental preparation. I envision the stick in my mind. I can see it, I can smell it, I can taste it. Mmm, I know exactly where it is and how to get it. It's mine. Whoo! 43 seconds. Yeah! Yeah! What was that? That was supposed to work. No, that would have lost us the game and might have even gotten us expelled from the entire competition. At least I grabbed more than one stick. You're supposed to only grab one stick. Oh. Look, you and I are supposed to be a team, right? If one of us makes a mistake, it, it affects both of us. So instead of keeping our strategies to ourselves, maybe we should talk about them to each other? Okay. 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 As a member of this team, may I make a suggestion? Yes, you may. Okay. I believe you should stretch before time starts and spend less time on choosing the perfect stick. Just pick up the one, you know, go with your gut. Oh, that's good advice, thank you. I, I do tend to overthink, uh -huh. which adds to the pressure which makes me more nervous, which makes my hands get really shaky and sweaty, and that makes like it difficult. Like you're doing right now? Oh, right. May I also make a suggestion? Uh, um, you may. You can choose one of the sticks on the top, but you get more points for one near the bottom. Oh, okay. I like a challenge, and I like more points. I know you do. Thank you for the suggestion. Work as a team. Work as a team. Redrop. Redrop. Start the timer. Start the timer. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Go. No, 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 the stretching, the stretching. Oh, right, right, no stretching, okay, okay. Ah! Don't rush. Okay, yeah, right, got you, got you, got you. Okay, let's look. Oh. Hmm? It's Bible story time! Hey guys! Ooh, pickup sticks. I love this game! We're practicing for the international pickup pick sticks, sticks competition. competition! You know it? I was the solo competition champion for three years in a row. Impressive. Not as impressive as today's story. It's from the book of Matthew and it's. Oh, looks like I'm getting some help today. Hello, I'm Don Slightly, and this is Ancient News Network, where we only cover ancient news. Tonight, culottes. Are they still cool? Were they ever? But first, Jesus. A carpenter's son from Nazareth. A praised teacher, some even call him rabbi. But is Jesus more than that? Joining us from Caesarea Philippi is one of his followers, <laughs> Philip. On, on, Philip, thank you for joining us. Look Guys, on, on, shh. Hello, person wearing colorful armor. Uh, it's a, a blazer and necktie. Philip, sources say you're a follower of Jesus. Is that accurate? Oh, yes. I've been following him for a while now. Up and down hills, to the sea, to the edge of the mountain, but not through the desert. He wanted to go alone. Well, I mean that you follow his teachings, not just physically. Oh yes, both. Mm -hmm. And what is your impression of him? Oh, oh uh, I guess. Here is what I tell you. Love your enemies. I don't know, I'm, I'm bad at impressions. No, my, my mistake. Uh, not that kind of impression. What is your opinion of Jesus? Who is he? Whoa. No way. We literally had this conversation with Jesus, right? Yeah, totally. Jesus had all his disciples together and he said, who do people- uh, you, you, don't, you don't have to do the impression. Right, right, sorry. Jesus said, 
Who do people say the Son of Man is? Sometimes, Jesus called himself the Son of Man. Mm, and what was your response? What were people saying? John the Baptist! Elijah! Guys, stop! This is my interview! Some said John the Baptist. Elijah, some said. Jeremiah! Yeah, or one of the prophets. Hmm. Well, there you have it. Straight from one of Jesus' own followers. There's no need to add to that. Actually, there's... Back to you. Thanks, John. For sure, the disciples knew that Jesus was special. They'd heard him teach things no one else was teaching. They'd seen him perform miracles no one had ever done before. But still, talking about what they truly thought about Jesus could have gotten them in a lot of trouble back then. So the disciples may have... Oh, another story. Tonight on Ancient News Network, Chia Pets. Are they actual pets? An inside scoop from Mr. Whiskers. But first, this just in. Another follower of Jesus with more about the famed teacher. Joining me live is Simon Peter. Mr. Peter. Oh, actually, my first name is Peter. Oh, I thought it was Simon. Oh, well, it's both, uh, but I go by Peter. It, it helps because there's another Simon in the group. <laughs> he is quite a zealot. What can you tell us about Jesus? Well, first, Jesus asked us what other people were saying about him. But then he wanted to know what we thought. He said, but what about you? Who do you say I am? And I told him what I really believe. I, I said, you are the Messiah. You are the son of the living God. Whoa. And he said, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. No mere human showed this to you. My father in heaven showed it to you. That is remarkable. It gets better. Jesus said, here is what I tell you. You are Peter. On this rock, I will build my church. Mm, I see, because Peter is another word for rock. Well, it sounds like you've been given a big responsibility. I know, right? <laughs> Well, there you have it. Simon Peter believes that Jesus is more than just a teacher and friend. He's the son of God. Up next, fidget spinners. How much time did we waste on these things? But for now, back to you. Thanks, Don. Peter had the courage to say out loud what he believed. Talking about God is a skill you and I can practice too. And when you talk out what you believe with others, it helps your faith in God to grow. So think of someone you can share your thoughts with today and give it a try. Back to you guys. Thanks. It's just like pickup sticks. Yep. Come again? Oh, no, when we talked about our strategies together, it helped us play the game better. Oh, See, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. And it helped us to understand each other. Yeah, yeah, so when we talk about God together, it can help us understand what we believe better and help us grow in our faith. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Reveal the question. Oh, who do you talk to about God? Well, there's you, obviously, and my parents. I talk to you as well, and, and some of my other friends that don't know Jesus as well as I do. Oh, you have other friends? Oh, yeah, but you're my best friend. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> and I'm your best friend too, right? Yeah. Who do you talk to about God? Find someone to talk to right now. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So -so Show. Yes, of course you're my best oh, friend. Oh, okay. I'm just goofing around. Hey. Again? Another round? All right, all right. Let me Here we stretch go. All right. before we start. Oh, good, good. Right, you've all learned. Right. All right. All right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to need your help getting up. Okay, here you okay. go. Okay, here we go. Thanks. So we should put that on. I think so. It's right. It's on top. top. That's not yeah. a lot of points. Yeah, that's true, but, but, but okay. I'm, this is a... Three, two, one. Oh! Okay, now what? You know how you pull a thing the tablecloth, out on the tablecloth yeah, yeah. and everything stays? What if I just go? Oh! oh if you was... hadn't kicked the table I after know. you'd done it? Um, how about if we use wind energy to blow one of them? <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, 60, 60 seconds? seconds on the clock. Okay, yeah. Hold on, I gotta stop it. Okay. Uh, and then clear it. Use the the top button. Now when, and now it's setting the clock. 
That sets the clock? Yep. Why does it have nope. a clock on it? It's a stopwatch. Well, I don't know. This isn't a stopwatch, it's a meat thermometer. Oh. Wow, that chicken I just ate was really undercooked. 